Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to mux a video. Um, it's kind of, it's to explain it quickly, it's just like changing the container of a video. Like from, like today we're going to learn about MKV, which contains usually H.264, and we're going to change that into a more, I don't know, edit friendly format, which like either AVI or um, MP4, which, yeah, it's really kind of, <laughs> Most people convert to WMV, which don't do, don't use WMV at all, please. The WMV, AVI, MP4, whatever, but this is, converting is just not, nowhere near as good as muxing, because muxing, pretty much no quality loss, the original and s file size, and pretty much just the best solution, really. There's no, nothing else better, really, to do, so. Okay, now first thing you're going to do to get started is download the links I've given in the description. And uh, with MKB Cleaver, you're going to have to choose either 32 or 64, depending on your operating system. And so once you've uh, installed MKB Toolnix and MKB Cleaver, you open um, MKB Cleaver. And uh, for the first time you use it, you're going to need to locate MKB Toolnix. And I'll oh, keep in mind, everybody, um, there's many methods of muxing and multiplexing. Well, mu Muxing is multiplexing, it's just a short way of saying it. And there's many ways to do it, it's just this is just one that I use. I use many as well, but this is just the easiest one for you guys. So uh, browse for the folder, and if uh, MKB Toolnix tool should be in your uh, x86, which is a 32 bit folder, and um, just look for it and just click on it right there, and yep, and press OK, and yep. And then open whatever MKV file you're going to use. Um, save this. And this is the, uh, M M the reason I'm using MKV Cleaver is a batch, so you can use really is you can just mux as many as you want really. See right there. And so what you do um, to, if you're going to do each one differently, like you've say if you you can okay with muxing you can it's split up into whatever it's got. So it's got video, audio, and subtitle track. So if you just want the video, you just click just on the video, but then you have to click there, so you're selecting that. But if you want audio as well, you click on that. But for today, we're just using the audio, so I mean just the video, so we just select the video. But since we're doing, we've got a bunch, what we'll do, we'll just uh, select all of them. And then just click video here. And then there's two ways to do this. There is one where you can click on this, which says convert H.264 tracks to AVI. Now with this, it's uh, usually in MKV Cleaver when uh, you're done, it'll send out an H.264 file, which then you'll mux into whatever you want after. But for people to just you know, you know just use AVI because I don't know their program that they're using the edit may not handle H.264 files, which would be an MP4 or something. Or, uh, then just use the AVI. So just click on here and then press extract, uh, extract tracks and pretty much done. But for everyone else that um, wants to use other formats, uh, which are usually better to use like MP4, uh, just press you click on that now. Oh, you, you can click your directory. But if you don't put anything, if you leave it default, it'll just be to wherever it was. Like wherever the, these came from, we'll go to the same place. But today we're just gonna uh, go to the desktop. Uh, I'll, I'll just make a new folder. If you want the audio for this, um, for the videos that you're muxing, you just click on the audio, but then they'll also come in a separate file, which then you'll have to box together later. Yeah. Alright, so now all the f all the files are uh, demuxed and everything, so uh, they should be in the folder that uh, you, know, you sent them to. And we well, can close this now. And here are all the uh, uh, episodes that I just did. And then what you're going to do, this is just one method to mux, just remember that. And I don't think many, too many people use this because it's usually meant for MKV, but it's a very easy thing to change. But you open uh, MKV Merge, which you should have, sh you should have it because you installed MKV Toolnix. Then you add uh, whatever file you're going to add, or whatever episode, or whatever. And... Say episode one, and then let it load as it processes the file, and 
<coughs> all that says a video file. Here's what you do, and then what you do, um, you probably don't need to mess with this if you don't know what you're doing, because usually you can't anyway, but there's all this. Anyway, uh, and you, instead of here, you change this to MP4, and then you just click on Start Moxing, and then you click on it, and then this, this comes up, and it's just doing its thing, and you just leave it. And yeah, you should get, once it's done, you should get an MP4. And you can also use that for MKV, as it said there. If you know, you've got something you want to chuck in, make an MKV. And yeah, it's right here, this file. And if you notice, it's the exact same size, or almost exact, as um, the H.264 file, which is pretty much just a bit lower than the uh, original MKB because we've only extracted the, audio, uh, the video instead of the audio and the subtitles. So if you open it up, um, you'll see that the quality is just pretty much exactly the same as um, the original source. future tutorial you know, suggestions and um, just chuck it in the uh, comments and uh, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.